Right. I'll straighten this camera. Today we're having a little look at little Malachite DSP software defined radio. Bought this off eBay a well, clutter of months ago. It's not the genuine one. These are a Chinese clone. The original ones are Russian, I'm led to believe. But as you can see, it's quite small. It's about about four inches by five inches. Something we bit bigger than a box of cigarettes. You have two encoders on the side. One's for your volume and the other one's for changing the frequency. And you can push them in for various other features. If this camera would stay focused. But anyway, we'll bark her up and let's see what the story is. There's all your information, your software. Now, you see we're on the old 11 metres here. Now the top and quarter, if you push this in, and watch along here, you'll see. You can be, you're able to alter uh, filter what widths and whatnot, attenuation, and back to your volume. And the bottom that'll bring you up and down the. Uh, you've got that place. You've got that place uh, where they check all the wagons. Like, oh, no, hang on a minute. See. Here's your mode, and we'll try now our FM. Uh, the radio 480, and uh, the my station in uh, Olbia, Olbia, Oscar, Lima, Bravo, India, Alpha, is the country Italy, not the Sardinia. Eh? Now see you have your signal meter up here. Here's your battery indicator, battery life indicator. Now you can do various things inside it. There's hard settings of your RF gain. You can swap the the uh, the direction which way you want these encoders to turn. You can change your speakers from speaker to earphones or earphones on speakers at the same time. You can alter the gain. You can alter your signal meter correct. If it's a bit reading a bit too high or too low, or even the frequency correct, you can alter that. And for your meter, you can have your signal to noise ratio. When you're back out of that, you can push the encoder, it brings you back. Yes, yes, Thomas. Your signal is very strong. Eh? Is the radio is, um, is no good because... Uh, Alright, with a balance that's down control, here, uh, it's very, very we'll go up 20 meters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. sight. Find a 40. You can alter the ratio of the waterfall and how sensitive it is and whatnot. And what I don't like about it sometimes, if, see, if, you, if, if the environment you're in is quite cold, the screen's not that sensitive. You've actually nearly have to stab at it sometimes, which I don't like. But once it gets warmed up, it seems to come back on. So there you are, I'm pushing that twice. It has an accent noise reduction or feature. And you go into visual and you can change various things to do with the waterfall setting and whatnot. The brightness of the screen, the timeout of the screen. Yes. I have it plugged into here at the moment. I have an 827 serial. Uh, they come from. Uh, the frequency range is. Um, I went to 2 gigahertz, but you have to get a code to, to fully expand the receiver up to work at that. But as far as I'm concerned, if it works full HF, it will work UHF and VHF. I'm quite happy enough. Although, when saying that, the VHF and UHF receive isn't good. Like, I've, I've plugged it into this. This Nakano article here, even like listen to our local repeater. And it's not great compared to the likes of a little Beofang. It's not great, so it's not really on that. 
and it comes supplied with this antenna and uh, this fitting here you can uh, plug it into this here you see for if you want to sit and listen to shortwave radio stations one but this is absolutely useless there is a setting inside it you go to hard you'll see it must see there's the antenna there software or sorry shortwave antenna 50 ohm or high whatever and no matter what you do with this and this doesn't make a difference so i thought i'll buy myself a 75 ohm telescopic antenna with this bought this fancy fit put it on it didn't make a blame bit of difference so whether that's a fault with it i don't know which sort of disappoints me because i'd like to take it away on some of my motorcycle trips of them staying overnight in the bnb if you had that with you on one of these wee little antennas you could sit and have a bit of entertainment with it before you went to your boudoir but no i'm quite happy with it it was about 80 quid i think including the postage You know, it's that little slot right here. She is a hundred percent. Copy you, BBC Radio. No problem, Mark. All the bag, good luck. Good guess, Mark. All the bag, Now, what I do, you notice this encoder. encoder. Now, you can change the, uh, you can change, I have it set for five hertz. You push that in. And then you can actually, you can rotate, you know, the steps of, of the encoder. But what I do, you notice... It misses every now and again you turn it now, I've turned it once to go down, it should be at it should be at five ten instead of five one five, didn't do it. There. Now it misses occasionally. You know, it'll jump like two sets of five hertz, whatnot. Now, it wouldn't be a big deal to, to pull the part and put a quality encoder into it, but it's just I can't used to it now. But at first it used to annoy me, but now it's The pros of the data receiver outweigh the the cons of it. It came, uh, in this lovely little box. It came with two of those. My SMA connector on it. But, uh, yes, well, please. And I don't know what way this screen's going to come up in the video, maybe, but the screen is very, very colourful. But I'm well pleased with it. Battery life. It comes with a USB, uh, charging lead. And I just charge it off my phone charger. You have a button around the side there to hold into turn it off and on. And I think you can you can actually uh, push the button in briefly, and that turns the screen off. Push you back in again, the screen comes back on to save battery life. I got you on turn. But yes, well pleased. I'm going to see you some short base stations. One AM. I'm going to see. And another thing, you can touch the, the, the frequency display and it brings the frequency up. So let's put in uh, 10, 1.02. Six megahertz. That's our local station, downtown radio. And you can go into the menu settings and alter the uh, bandwidth and whatnot. We seem to be coming up on radio four somewhere. Some of the really horrible things that I've seen in terms of you know cases What's that, that have that, been uh, five that live maybe. Let me see, radio four is down here. Come on, baby. What's this? Oh, here. The Archer's Radio 4. How could you live without it? Thing is, though, some folk are naturally chatty and some ain't. Probably talking about drainage in the lower field. Right. Come on, baby. See if we ain't stab at that twice. You have to be quite firm. Right. Back up the 11 meters. So there you go, folks. I would highly recommend them. I think they're a fantastic thing. Well pleased with it. Now the audio might have turned out slightly rough on uh, uh, coming through the speaker of this mobile phone recording. Now. There you go. The Malachite DSP software defined radio. Aye. You can buy them with the encoders like this, or there's two little round 
and cooler stick out of the top. I was told to stay away from those ones. So I specifically went with this one here, but you can get them with the encoders in the front, the big large speaker at the front. The speaker in this is at the back. So it is. But I... There we go, folks. A short look at the Malachite DSP software-defined receiver.